हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू टारगेट एस इन फ्यू वीक्स टाइम दैट इज ऑन फिफ्थ ऑफ जनवरी यू विल बी अपियरिंग फॉर ई एस सी ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी प्रिलिम्स एग्जामिनेशन एंड दिस वीडियो इज गोइंग टू बी सुपर इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर यू बिकॉज वी आर गोइंग टू अनालाइज द पास्ट ईयर कट ऑफ फॉर ई एस सी प्रिलिम्स एज वेल एज सिविल इंजीनियरिंग सब्जेक्ट वाइज वेटेज एंड आई वुड लाइक टू शेयर सम सीक्रेट ट्रिक्स टू क्लियर ई एस सी ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी एग्जामिनेशन नाउ कमिंग टू द कट ऑफ एनालिसिस द इक्वेशन इज वेरी क्लियर इफ यू बिलोंग टू जनरल कैटेगरी All you have to score is forty percent plus ten marks. See the paper is for five hundred. Paper one, general paper, is for two hundred marks. Paper two, engineering paper, is for three hundred marks. So forty percent of five hundred is two hundred marks. Two hundred plus ten is two ten. If you are scoring anything above this two ten, you are very safe. You are in a very safe zone, and you will be clearing ESC prelims for sure. Okay, and even in two thousand nineteen, the cutoff was very close to two hundred. The official statistics are not at out in one two months. UPSC will release these statistics also. Now coming to OBC category, you have an advantage of twenty to twenty five marks, and if you belong to SC and ST category, you have an advantage of forty to fifty marks. Now keeping this table in your mind, you can plan accordingly to clear your twenty twenty prelims examination. And one more point I want to stress is please do not compare with twenty sixteen or twenty fifteen cutoffs. because before 2017 the paper was not of 500 marks paper it was 600 marks paper 200 general paper and 400 technical paper okay so please do not compare with years before 2017 you have to compare only with 2017 2018 and 2019 and it is very safe to say if you are scoring more than 210 for sure you are going to clear engineering sir vcs examination prelims okay now second point which i want to stress is mains please do not concentrate on mains right now as you have very less time all you have to concentrate is on prelims in mains again you have two papers each paper will have eight questions out of which only two are mandatory and three you can write from the choice okay out of eight questions you are writing only five questions as there is a choice this examination is one of the easiest examinations you are going to write and second thing you have calculators allowed in mains therefore you need not worry about your accuracy agreed or not so only two factors rule your selection in your mains that is your speed and second thing is your presentation skills and after your prelims from january to june you will have 6 months time in which you can do wonders and get very good score in your mains examination so please concentrate on pre right now and try to score as much marks as possible minimum you have to score 210 do not forget this magic figure is 210 now coming to the paper one the general general paper is asked for 200 marks and most of the students are very much afraid of this paper please please remove your fears right now because you have subjects like engineering aptitude and engineering mathematics energy and environment and project management which almost all civil engineer are very well aware of and you also have subjects like engineering drawing design importance of safety and ict and ethics which are also very simple subjects and you can excel them in a matter of 1 to 2 weeks so even average student if he studies for 2 months he can easily score 90 to 110 marks in your paper 1 examination and it is a very good score okay if you want more about this 10 subjects you can visit our target ies youtube page in which all videos are available regarding this 10 subjects now coming to the paper 2 which is the engineering paper i would like to discuss the weightage of the subjects in detail there are 12 subjects right and out of this 12 subjects 150 questions will be asked in paper 2 and each question will carry two marks so maximum i can score are 300 marks but remember 150 questions divided by 12 subjects this should give you around 12.5 questions per subject but this is not going to happen the distribution of questions is highly uneven in your esc prelims examination you can see in this table please take a screenshot it will be helpful to you you can see a subject like fluid mechanics and hydraulic machinery it was asked 31 questions in 2018 but the next year it fell down to just 12 questions so there is absolutely no trend in esc prelims examination but i can safely say there are two subjects one is building materials the 13 questions will definitely come from here and hydrology and water resource engineering 
another 13 questions are definitely going to come from here except these two i cannot observe any such trends and you also please do not observe any such trends because that will be waste of your time so you can expect questions to come from any subject in between 4 to 30 questions okay you can see a subject like steel which was asked for only five questions CPM 4 questions, surveying 5 questions and transportation engineering 5 questions. Therefore, do not focus on only one subject completely. Better you focus on all subjects equally. I want to share with you top 5 most effective secret tricks which will definitely help you in clearing ESC prelims examination. The first trick you might be already aware that more than 50% of the question paper will be repeated from the past questions. So each and every past question should be practiced and you should be thoroughly perfect. Okay. And I am talking about numerical questions now. The gate numerical questions are being appeared in ESC exams. Okay. So, what you have to do while solving these numerical questions, please avoid calculator. Okay. I know it will take a lot of time, but the time you are utilizing here in calculating by your hand, it will definitely help you in clearing ESC prelims examination. I hope it is clear, right? Because if you notice, the problem difficulty in ESC is increasing every single year right now you have problems of reasonable difficulty which can be solved only with practice okay and you take a a4 sheets couple of a4 sheets and what you have to write down are shortcuts on this you should know the shortcuts for multiplying two digit numbers for multiplying three digit numbers square root cube root sorry cube root as well as squares and cubes this is mandatory okay you have to find what are the shortcuts just go to youtube type this and you will be getting the shortcuts because in ESC each question you have only 1 minute 12 seconds to solve if you are multiplying in conventional methods which you used to use in schools you cannot solve the question within this time you should learn shortcuts please learn the shortcuts from youtube channels there are a lot of youtube channels and you can easily learn in the same papers you write the values of root 2 root 3 root 5 and root 10 as well as you should also remember log 2, log 3, log 5 values and also write some basic trigonometry formula. This is more than enough if you remember these shortcuts. Paste these shortcuts to your practice book and this will give you an enormous edge over other students who are writing the same ESC exam. Now coming to the third and most important point, you can study the subjects in whatever order you want as per your convenience. But when it comes to the matter of perfection, you have to be first perfect in minimum guarantee subjects like building materials or hydrology and WRE. Okay. So these subjects are quite small and lot of students do ignore these subjects and they just keep on studying geotechnical, transportation, environmental engineering like these subjects. Okay. Please be perfect in small subjects first because it has equal weightage as compared to that of heavy subjects when it comes to ESC prelims. Okay. You can add CPM also here and you can easily score 60 plus marks just by reading small subjects. After that, please focus on subjects with no advanced topic or invention. Just for example, there are many more subjects, but for example, let us take SOM and SA. So even after 25 years, if you are joining civil engineering, the syllabus related to these two subjects will be pretty much same because it is related to material properties, no IS code is involved or no new inventions is involved and there is no scope of advanced topic. So first be perfect in these type of subjects. Then you go for GTE, ETE, surveying, etc. Because from this subject every year there will be 10 to 15 percent of question which even experts cannot solve as they are asking from advanced topic or new invention. If you are perfect in this subject, you would be answering almost all questions. If he is asking say 15 questions from SOM, you will be able to answer all the 15 questions without any problem. That is the advantage of being perfect in subject with no advanced topic. And as the time is very less, please prioritize the subject depending on marks and workload factors. Okay, You decide your own subject priority and finish as per your priority. And do not stuck on one subject. For example, you started GT and after some time you have faced some difficulty and you are feeling GT is too difficult. The best thing you can do is shift to the new subject just start the next subject if you are pro facing problem with that subject also start the next subject but don't be stuck one, on one subject because this is not the time within few weeks you will be appearing your prelims examination so just move on if you are facing some difficulty and try to finish subjects which you are convenient first of all 
and coming to the fourth trick this is only for the students who are appearing esc for the very first time okay if you are writing esc for the first time i know what is your problem there are 12 civil engineering subjects and i am pretty much sure that you cannot complete all these 12 subjects in this short span you will be having problem with one two subjects for sure and lot of the lot of students what they do is they lose confidence that they are not perfect or they haven't started one two subjects at all let me make it clear that even if you are leaving one two subjects it will have zero impact on your prelims mark let me show you let me prove it to you for example you left one entire subject and let us say there were 12 questions from this subject out of 12 question you answered 10 question in which let us say seven question came correct and three question went wrong so three question negative marking is one third so the net gain will be of six questions so out of this subject you are able to answer six answers correctly that is you are getting 12 marks right but what is the time you took you took 12 question related time 12 question into 1 minute 12 seconds approximately 14 to 15 minutes of time you wasted in getting this 12 marks okay see no one is going to complete all 150 questions in that 180 minutes time it is not practical to me or any expert of civil engineering so you would be leaving lot of questions in which you are 100% clear of concept and 100% you know the formula but you are unable to solve it just because of time constraint if you are able to use this 14 to 15 minutes of time and get the six answers correct then also you will be getting the same 12 marks back to you so the net loss even if you are leaving one subject or two subject is literally zero so don't worry don't lose your confidence because i have seen the average student but with good confidence clearing esc prelims and i have also seen very good students with less confidence failing in esc prelims so even if you are a average student have the confidence in this last 3 4 months time you should every day feel that you will easily clear esc prelims only then you are going to clear the prelims exam now coming to the final point the target ies is offering a free course the complete free course for esc gate 2020 and it will start from september 16th monday onwards okay this will be like a crash course and we will be finishing the syllabus within 2 months time and this course will be good enough for you to clear esc pre and get a very good gate rank so if you know someone who is in need of esc gate coaching please suggest our channel to them please spread this video if you are liking this video and i would like to end the video by not saying good luck because you don't need luck to clear esc you definitely need luck when you are writing a exam of 100 marks or 150 marks because even a 5 marks make a huge difference here but when you are writing an exam which is for more than 1000 marks your luck doesn't matter only thing which matters is your hard work and your talent so do your best i hope you will be in the final list of esc have a nice day see you on 16th of september